standing here with Robert Aguilar, the owner of Culture Fresh. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Very good. Good. It seems like everything's going really well here tonight for you. Yeah, hectic night, but it's a good turnout. Good. All right. So Culture Fresh has been open for one year. Yeah, well, Tell me what is different about Culture Fresh compared to other stores. Why? Well, a little thing that's different about us, uh, we carry nothing but independent brands. Uh, nothing but local people come in. I allow them to come in, sell their clothes here, their jewelry, their art, and just uh, let them showcase their, their talent. The talents. What kind of local art do you have displayed in the store? We have uh, a variety of different things. We kind of really don't turn anybody away. If it fits with the store, we allow it to come in. Um, a lot of it has a lot of graffiti-based uh, uh, art, just artistic uh, expression, uh, but a lot of music, uh, street art, street clothing, so stuff like that. And you hold women's and men's clothing? We do. We have men and women's clothing, and uh, soon to come, Kids clothing. Kids clothing. Oh, that's something different. All right. So right now we're at the Boombox event. What's the significance of having events here at Culture Fresh? Well, what we do is we have so many local people come in that want to showcase their stuff. So we want to give them uh, a monthly venue so that way we can take turns as far as showcasing their either their art, their new clothing line that's coming out. We'll hold a fashion show for them, or uh, they want to do an art show, just a solo art show. We'll have it here. So we have everything on first Friday. How is Culture Fresh involved with the community? Uh, we're about the community because we have open door policy. Basically, you know, our community is full. Arizona's full of great artists, great musicians, people that are artistic. So we're involved in having our doors open, allowing them to come in and showcase their stuff. Sounds good. All right. So being that you are Hispanic and you are a local owner of the boutique, how does that feel to you? What's the significance? You know, since I was young, I always wanted to. Uh, know that I wanted to be my own boss and although it is harder to run your own company, opening up my, my doors every morning is the greatest feeling alive and, and being Latino is the, it's just it's icing on the cake. And another good thing is you were born and raised here in Arizona? Born and raised here in Arizona, yes, my business partner and I were. That's good, so you guys definitely have kept your roots here. Alright, this has all made me work up an appetite, so let's go check out Urban Cookies and see what they're up to.